Okay, that goes. I mean, I already know what we're doing, but uh, you are flying this machine in an air show, right? Yes, so it's the South Pansberg air show okay. coming up uh, the last weekend of June. Or is July. The South Pansberg, is that the mountain range up north there? Yeah, so it's by Louis Trichard. <laughs> right, yeah, right. So way Are they up an air north. show there? Yes. Yes, like. So it's a fly in slash air show slash air rally. So they've asked to. To, to join a glider to make a nice glider display for the guys yeah. in the air show so I guess we need to just get some sort of practice in before that yeah I mean this you know I know um, Ace and Ati Jonker a little bit and I know these are the greatest gliders in the world aren't they made in Pachi eh? yes so at this stage it's one of the best gliders in the world it's uh, if you don't have a JS then you're not compatible you just can't in, compete, really. in, in any competition so if you want to do anything you need to have one of these babies is it true that I heard that um, 18, like of the top 20 or 22 or something in the World Champs with younger brother gliders? Yes, so when we went to the World Champs last year in Hungary, yeah. we were close to about 90 gliders. And I can't remember the exact figure, but somewhere within 50 of the gliders were younger sail Were younger sail yeah. Anyway, and at the top end of the competition? Yes, as well. yes, of course. Yes, like what is this one? This is a JS3, so we're flying it now in the 18 meter configuration, so you get it also in the 15 meter configuration. That's different. It's the same aeroplane, but with, with yes, a different just, wingtip. Just, yeah. a, just a different tip, so we just s s slide it off and a new tip is back on it. And um, yeah, so this is 18, the JS3 is their newest model, and uh, they're doing really, really, really phenomenal. Yes, these things are beautiful. Man. Where is the aileron here? I mean, is this the aileron? Is it yes, a lot so, of it? Yeah, so it's a, it's a flapper on. So it runs all the way from the tip right up to the end of the fuselage. So it's also the flap and also the aileron. But that can it go up or not? Yes. I think this is just a sealer. Yes, so this is, they call it mylar, so it's a gap tape. Okay. Just to seal the gaps. To make it absolutely course, efficient. Yeah? Yes, for aerodynamics. Just as they are beautiful. <laughs> I don't know anything about it really, but. I'm going to learn. Yes. So I, I mean, I, I have not tugged a glider for about four years. <laughs> so you think it'll be all right, eh? Yes. Um, so we as glider pilots don't really have a choice than to just follow you. So <laughs> whatever you do, we will do as well. And are you below or above me? Uh, you get different toe positions um, and different uh, likings in, in, in the, the, the guy behind. I just like a nice level toe. Okay. So I just normally... And are you in my the, prop wash bouncing around? No, I'm just above your prop wash. I normally just put a, the, the, the toe plane's legs onto the horizon and just keep them there. And that will, in, in the sling, it will so just... So you're a little bit below. Yeah, just, just, just. just below, but, but the prop wash goes down exactly, mostly. Yeah. yes. Below. Yeah. And, 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 and you've got a long enough runway you have to get off. Yeah? Yes, so the 18 meter configuration, we can load it with water to 600 kilograms. But yeah. we have no water today, so we're quite light. How long is this? Thing? So we are somewhere in the late 400 kilograms. With we you are, as well? Yes, with me as well. So <laughs> We're full of fuel in our in our sustainer engine as well. How could you and, get a jet engine on yes, this? Yes, and I will most probably hopefully fly before the sling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because you'll take off because your stall speed is less than me. Yes. I will take off at about 50 knots, I or 45, yes, 50 so, knots. So I should be able to get with with an empty weight by about 60 kilometers an hour. Uh, oh, 60 yeah, okay. to 70 so kilometers an hour, I will be able to, to, to get airborne. Like a man, and I've got this. I mean, this. I've heard that. I know. I mean, as I pull you, I've got to accelerate the weights of this 450 or whatever. That's quite heavy to accelerate. But once we airborne, they tell me that the that the drag on this thing is like 20 to 30 kilograms. That's all that's yes, pulling so, back. So if you have a really efficient glider and a not efficient tow plane, sometimes it's quite difficult to go in a straight and level tow to to keep the the, the tow rope. Um, actually, yes, yes. So you're actually gaining a little bit on, on the tow plane if, when you, the, uh, if the you're road not goes climbing, like this. yes. But you, but you can put the air brake on at worst or something too. Yes. But normally we climb out with, we're full of water so we're quite heavy and we do have some flaps so we're quite, quite draggy uh, yeah. and we're climbing of course. Yes. So, so it's, it's pulling, in, yeah, so it's not as likely to catch in up. In theory it's not a problem. But if you descend it you would catch up quick quick because yes. there's so little drag yes, here. Yes, yes. You nervous or not? No, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Always be careful. I mean, it is absolutely. I have a photograph from years ago when I learned how to do this of uh, 
the South African product behind our South African product. So it's just such a oh, feeling. I think it's a, it's an amazing combination we have. Yeah, it is a great combination. Yeah, these things here are just so... Can you show us quickly how the um, this bug scraper works? <laughs> so, Come and have a look at this. <laughs> so for the bug wiper to operate, we do need a little bit of, of airflow over the wing. So we need oh, to fly, Yeah. but we can operate it manually. So as, as you release the pressure on it, on the, it's just normal fishing line. Yes. It opens up and the wind will then take it all the way to the tip. And that will take your bugs off. It scrapes it. This thing yeah, only has yeah, scrapes yeah, so the, the, so the line, the line with that helps you scrape it off. <laughs> and uh, you can take it all the way up to the tip. And then of course you just bring it all the way back in again. And then it just jumps back in. Yes. And that's because bugs on the leading edge yes, are so, enough so to the, make you uncompetitive. So the biggest problem we have is Europe. Yeah. So our big market for the Jonker planes are in Europe. And they have a ton of bugs. And that, of course, is drag. Yeah. So it's just to clean the And it the makes edge. a difference. Just bugs a on huge here. difference. Yes. Some of the guys will tell you up to 10%. <laughs> really? Yes. I have been told that by the aerodynamicist, you know, you know Buddy Sian Barnard? Yes. The guy who was our aerodynamicist, yes. he was in the Ruvak helicopter and the, that um, converted Astra the, um, that the South Africans use. He says there's less drag from this wing, which is about three inches deep, than there is from a three millimeter round bar. In other words, the teardrop shape. And I will, I will believe him 100%. Yeah, makes it less drag. That to me is absolutely incredible. Eh? So what are we going to, I'm going to drive out there. We're going to pull the cable out and we're going to push the glider up. Yeah, we're going to push the glider up. We're going to take the tow out gear off. So the, the tail dolly and the wing walker is just for the tail configuration to get it to the launch point. We're going to take it off, line up, hook the rope. Okay. And off we go. And I'm going to go out and I'm going to dry lungs and come back across over here. You don't need to go high, eh? No, we can go just over a thousand foot. Okay, AGL, yeah, yes. from here. Yes. Right. Let's go, put. <laughs> <laughs> don't f <laughs> up. <laughs> okay. Do you want to go again or do you call it a day? Is that okay?